Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to elaborate kind of uh, economic subject given to us by John L. Kingston. The title of the subject of today is Triple Peace, or in other words, it is known as Triple Bottom Line. When you talk about economic curve terminology or corporate terminology, the bottom line means only one meaning, one connotation of bottom line. And that connotation applies to only profit. When the corporation or corporation hunters or tycoons or big wigs talk about bottom line, bottom line, bottom line, they talk about profit must not go lower than that. Only pro profit. Only profit is bottom line. John Elkington advocated and emphasized that there should be three bottom lines, triple bottom lines. It's not fair or it doesn't augur corporate well to have only one bottom line pertaining to, in conjunction with, profits. But according to him, three bottom line, triple bottom line, he has actually coined triple P's. First P for people, second P for planet, and the third P for profit. According to his concept, his ideas, his insight, there should be triple P's. Bottom line must not actually end with profit and must not begin with profit, but bottom line, every corporation should actually focus on three P's. Bottom line in conjunction with people, bottom line in conjunction with planet, and the bottom line in conjunction with profit. So we are going to elaborate one point at a time, given to us by John L. Kington. First point is people. According to him, the people are the most absolutely unprecedented corporate concern and corporate asset. Without people, nothing can happen. Company cannot survive, company can run even a single minute. People are the most important thing and that is why according to him, according to his emphasis, every corporation, every company must put people before profit. That is the corporate de facto asset. That is the de facto capital of every corporation, every organization. How can organization function with only money, only capital, only machine, only material, only market, and no people? If there are no people to work in an organization, organization cannot be even imagined that it's going to function. So people actually move the organization. People move every single thing, in fact. Whole world actually moves in conjunction with the efforts and endeavors of people. So, Dr. John Atkin has said that three bottom lines, not only profit bottom line, then the first and foremost bottom line should be people, that they, every corporation must attach maximum amount, at most amount of, optimal amount of importance and significance to people. People must be provided living wage, people should be provided all kinds of amenities, people should be provided all kinds of facilities, people should be provided all kinds of security and safety. People should be considered as the most important, most precious jackpot of the company. People are not just in a flesh and blood, but they are the cornucopia of energy, dual energy that moves the whole world. Your business cannot function without people. So, first and foremost, a set of the companies of people and Mr. John Elkington has put people at the top of the list of the triple P's or three most important factors, triple bottom line. Number second is planet. 
planet is rich with all kinds of godly manna, all kinds of goodies, and we have been destroying it mindlessly, carelessly, ruthlessly, mercilessly. We do not think about that planet is only the place that we have bestowed to us by God and we should take care of it. Like in the uh, Japanese philosophy, you cut one tree for your need, then you, you plant two more trees so that the future generation can also have the benefit of those trees. You don't denude the planet with any of his God-given material. It's Satoyama. Japanese philosophy Satoyama, they say that live with nature in harmony, not in harm, but harmony. That is what John Elkington has also said. Second, the most important parameter of every corporation, every organism must be to take care of the environment, take care of all the raw material, take care of the water, take care of ecology. Entire ecology must be taken care of by every corporation to survive as a corporation, to survive as a human society, to survive as a civilized society, human civilization and survive as a planet. The way we have been right now dealing with planet is totally detrimental, cataclysmic. We have pushed our planet to the cusp of cataclysm, the verge of devastation. And that is what Dr. Elkington is telling us that take care of the people as a precious asset, take care of the planet as a precious asset. And this planet cannot be replaced. It's not replaceable. No human are replaceable. You cannot have anything else and replace uh, people by, or you cannot have anything else that you can replace planet by. Next is profit. Yes, profit is the most important part of every business. As a matter of fact, profit is everything, or profit is only the thing for which the business are all established. Every business exists on this planet, every profession, every industry, every vocation, Every single thing exists on this planet and whatever the people do when they move their muscles and their minds, they do that for the profit. So. But according to John Elkington, Dr. John Elkington is saying that profit should not be only the motive, should not be only the bottom line. But while making profit, you should actually have the very, very profound, very deep concern, very close concern about people and the planet both. Meaning, according to him, our, our motto or our objective of making profit must not actually have any kind of detriment to planet or the people. We must not hurt or harm people or planet in, the, in our quest for profit. Your quest for profit is, is justified. It's a fair, only for the fair amount of profit and very fair way to earn the profit without hurting anyone, without hurting anyone or anything. You must earn profit. <coughs> and that is what John Elkington has been advising us, emphasizing upon and advocating that a triple bottom line or triple P are the most important parameters of all the organization to follow. So that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for listening. See you again next time. Until then, God bless everyone on this planet. Amen.